So recently, I stumbled upon the coolest Instagram account. They make stuff like this, like that, but also like this. I want to do the same thing. In this video, I'm going to use this sweater and that sweater and combine them into one. Check this out. So as you can see, this sweater is destroyed because I used it for my model jacket video. Here's a quick sneak peek of the video. Cool. I'm gonna use this part, probably like this part in a diagonal cut and then cut this one the same way to make two sweaters half and half. Got it? By the way, this is what happened when you're trying to rip stitches instead of just unstitching them with patience. Unstitched, ripped. So this sweater will be like 80% needed uh, beige collar or like cream collar and 20% gray sweater. So let's get started. I need to do the markings and then we'll just cut it out and then hopefully it turns out great. Once I cut this though, I don't know if it's gonna be easy to stitch because it's not like it's a thread, right? It's like, this is like little lines of cotton, etc. So when you cut, I hope it turns out okay and it's easy to stitch, but that's, that's kind of what I'm worried about in this video. So hopefully it turns out right. You see it? So what you're going to do is you're going to place your first sweater flat and you're going to cut it off. You don't have to do a straight line. You can have fun with it, do some zig and zags or whatever you want to have fun with. And once you have that piece cut, you're going to use that cut for a reference of what to take off from the second sweater. I hope it makes sense. If you have questions, you can always leave a comment on the video. I will answer them. But allow yourself some seam allowance, of course, but you need to use this as a reference to what to cut off the second sweater. It's quite an important step if you want your shape to make sense. So here you see like this is starting to fray already. So I need to stitch this. I need to stitch this right now. Otherwise, the more it frays, the harder it will be to stitch. I'm keeping so I'm gonna keep this sleeve maybe for another project, but so far I'm only using this part of the beige sweater. So I'll keep this to the side and maybe put it on another sweater. What do you think this would match with? This is like a cream kneaded sweater, maybe like, I don't know. Let me know what that would match with and maybe I'll, I'll do it for another video. Now we got the sweater right here. It's aligned with the curve like this. I'm gonna pin it, stitch it, and then, uh, We'll see how it fits. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to pin it because it's all like squiggly lines, so I'm gonna stitch it right away and hope for the best. I'm gonna go super, super, super slow. Something I thought of last minute is that I'm actually gonna start, instead of starting at the bottom, I'm gonna start at the shoulder level. So I'm sure that at least the shoulders are aligned and the stitches are aligned. And then at the bottom, if it doesn't fit, if one is too long, maybe it would look cool, but I can just fold it and make it shorter. Oh my God, I'm so glad I caught this before. I'm gonna use white stitches. I don't wanna use, uh, this is like navy. I don't think that would. So one thing here is that because this fabric is super, like I need to, it's like super, how do you call this? It's extensible or like flexible. I need to make sure it's like really flat and it's loose so that it doesn't go like super like stretchy. Otherwise the whole fit is gonna be ruined. So I'm being super cautious. I'm taking my time, like no rush. I'm trying to align the curves. Respecting the seam allowance all the time. So it looks like the length is gonna be a bit longer on the cream one, which I was expecting. But let's see if we can make something happen. Okay, so it looks like this is going to be the same length, so I'm super stoked about this. Alright, stitch is secured. That's one side. I'm just checking a little bit the seam, if everything worked out. The seam, everything is great. Tension is great. Loose threads here. Then I'm going to attack the other one. Same thing, I'm starting from the shoulder, so now... The cream sweater is gonna be on the side of the machine, and that's it. Okay, so I have a problem here. Whereas the two links on the front actually fit it, those ones are not aligned at all, like at all. You can see like the difference. 
So I'm not sure what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna still finish the stitch, uh, see if I can fix something. But usually, I don't know, some back are longer than the front on some garments and maybe this sweater has that and this sweater has not or whatever. So I'm gonna just gonna finish this stitch, figure out what happened and maybe make some adjustments. All right, I'm gonna flip the whole sweater around and see what was wrong with it. Okay, so I tried it on a little bit and I think what happened is that I didn't go as slow as I wanted to. And on some areas you have a pool of fabric, which by accumulation adds up to this whole thing at the bottom. I'm gonna unstitch this, try it again, and hopefully make it work, being super, super careful. Let's, let's try to make it mucho bueno, okay? Okay, so here I'm using the pins and I'm gonna start from the bottom to the top because I want the needed part to be on top when I saw instead of having this in the bottom because I think this is what's pulling on the fabric. Ooh. All right, I fixed it. To be honest, I didn't think that was gonna work, but I did fix it, so I'm, I'm generally super stoked because I want to wear this. I think gray and cream goes well so well. So as you can see, this is one end and this is the other, so nothing is going further. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna zigzag stitch just to secure uh, the stitch and make sure it works out. And then I think we're done and we'll go for the reveal and we'll talk about the outfit and we'll do this thing. So this is the piece. Now let's make an outfit. 